Hi there, all of you kind people playing music. Today I'm going to show you how to configure the MIDI controller Behringer FCB1010 with Kemper Profiling Amp. Uh, in my Behringer controller I don't use any extensions, um, no chips uh, specific for Kemper, so it's just a stock model. Um, I've bought Kemper like more than two years ago and since then I'm using this MIDI controller and it does everything for me. Uh, program change, uh, switching, storm boxes on and off, delays, um, controlling volume, exp uh, expression pedals like wah wah and pitch band and so on. So and, and it's not really complicated to configure it without the chip. So I hope that I'll show you. So let's start with a preparing Kemper profiler. In Kemper I'm going to use the performance number 7 because um, all the previous performances I have configured for my for myself. And here you can see in this part of the display every performance, every preset inside of the performance uh, has a program, MIDI program number already set. I strongly recommend using performance mode. If you take a look you can see that uh, for every performance this value is already set. So when you go through the every preset it just increases by one. It's 28, 29, 30. So the next performance 31, it will be 32 and so on. So on. All these banks have MIDI program already predefined. So you don't need to configure anything inside the camper with the performance mode. So let's work with a let's configure the performance number seven for Kemper. Uh, I want the first slot uh, of the performance to be some clean sound. Let's pick the clean sound. Actually, it doesn't matter. Let it be a gold finger. Gold finger clean. And for the second sound inside this performance, I want some gain gain sound let it be a mess of boogie rod rod atlantic royal atlantic sorry crank so it's a high gain so this is the initial state let's store it just in case the default profile well let's change the name a little bit anyways it doesn't matter it is right now. You can set. You can set anything you want to just leave this as it is. It doesn't matter. So, so now I have two sounds on program 31, and this sound is a program 32. So I'll configure my controller the way it switch switches between these. You should connect uh, the MIDI cable into the controller into MIDI out slot and on the camper you should connect it to the MIDI in. So firstly about the concept. MIDI controller sends the MIDI messages to the device you're controlling. So uh, all the MIDI controllers basically are the same. They send the messages. So this one is almost equal to this controller but this one can send more different messages like notes when you hit the keyboard and this controller can send only limited amount of messages. There are several message types uh, which can be sent by this controller to Kemper. Um, the first one is a program change uh, message. Uh, as you understand from the title, it will change the program on Kemper, so it will change the profile in Kemper. And the second is a control change. So it's dedicated uh, to change the parameters of the profile in Kemper, to change different controls like uh, switch on and off, storm boxes or delay and so on. So let's start right away. So you have banks here, you see this uh, now this uh, display shows banks you have so uh, every button is equal every number button is equal so you can configure every button to do anything so I usually prefer 
to use this row of buttons, buttons uh, to change programs uh, and it's also written here program change so uh, to change profiles so for instance I can have set of five different profiles uh, in this bank so I'll work with the bank number nine because I have all the first banks configured for my personal use so I'll use this one as a blank so and the, the upper row I use uh, for this second type of MIDI messages, the control type. So uh, I control some boxes, uh, Wawa pedal and so on. The Performance 7 in Camper is already configured to work with the messages, uh, with the program change messages starting from 31. The, this button will switch the first, I want this button to switch to the first profile in this performance number seven. So the first profile has number 31 so I need to send, but by pressing this button I want to send the program change message with number 31 and Kemper will get, get it and switch to this performance and the particular profile. So to start editing I firstly I pick what button I want to configure so I pick the first button I'm going to configure it so to start the configuration you need to press and hold down button hold it for several seconds and you see that this green light starts blinking and the display is shut down so you are you have started the configuration mode so to start configuration press up I think this step is made for distinguishing that you are in a configuration mode or you are in performance mode. So you can see that now two buttons uh, are lighting. This means that the, the every button here uh, means uh, what messages it sends. So in the editing mode the buttons with a program change title uh, are sending program change messages. So now this first button which I'm editing is sending two, two messages. So let's start from program change. Okay, so now it's sending one program change message and it has expression panel switched on. You see these uh, hints here tell us what every button means in the editing mode. So in the editing mode these buttons change programs. These two buttons send control change so you can control two storm boxes. These buttons switch on and off uh, expression pedals. So if I hold, press and hold this button you see it's not, uh, it's turned off so now it will send no program change to Kemper. So it will not change the Kemper profile. Hypothetically, I could send two program change messages to different devices if I can figure them on different channels, but it's a really more complicated story. So don't worry about that. You need just one. Basically with Kemper, you need only one. Usually I use the first program change. You could use the second. It doesn't. It doesn't matter really. You just need to send one program change message to Kemper. So usually I'm using the first. So if I press it once, it starts blinking. You see, it means that uh, you are about to change what program change you're going to send. So I press up once again, and I see 41. Or well, what? What does it mean? 41. 41 is the number of the program uh, the controller is going to send to Kemper and Kemper will switch to this uh, to this particular performance and profile. The seventh performance starts with a 31 so I, I need uh, this controller to send 31 so I can press 3-1 and, and now it, and I press up once again 
So now it will send program change to 31, to program number 31. And for example, I don't want any expression pedals here, so I switch it off. I just hold it for a couple seconds. If if I'm done, I, I don't want to do anything uh, with the with this button I'm editing. So I just press down and hold it, and it will go back to playing mode. So the button down always get you out of the menus. So if you are messed up and you don't know what are you doing, just press down several times or hold it for a couple seconds, and it will go out and be in the playing mode. So now I'm in the playing mode, and by pressing one, it sends. Uh, the program change number 31 to Kemper and that's it and you see that nothing is lit uh, lit up uh, the expression pedals uh, are also turned off when they are on this light will shine so let's keep going for example this one uh, is our clean sound uh, so in the bank 9 I want the second button to switch to the drive channel of the amp, so to switch to my uh, gain profile, right? So I choose this button and I want to edit it, and I'm, I press down a couple seconds once again, and I'm in editing mode. I press up to start editing, and I have again default settings. I have always expression pedal on, usually this volume pedal is turned on, and uh, one program change. So. I turn off volume pedal once again, for example, so no expression pedals, and I want to change the program number, sorry, I want to change the program number, I press it once again, it starts blinking, I press up, it's 42, the previous was 41, so I'm working with profile, um, with the performance mode camper, I need 32 to switch to the second profile in the camper performance mode so it's, I press 32 I want 32 the number of program message so I'm done I press up once again to confirm if for example I started editing started editing and I put the wrong number I want to cancel I can press down and it cancels operation so down cancels operation up confirms so oh, you see, it's 32 again, I can sell it. So, okay, I can sell once again, 32 is good. Uh, okay, now I just exit, I'm done. And now, you can see, these two buttons are already, already configured to work with two profiles from Kemper. When I press them, Kemper switches between. Let's configure more advanced thing. Uh, I want uh, expression pedals so usually uh, there are two pedals you can see that uh, and uh, usually I ha have one of them always configured for volume and uh, one of them usually for wah, -wah. Uh, but sometimes for other effects like uh, pedal bend and so on you know wami pedal so uh, you can choose any of these two pedals to be the volume pedal but uh, I usually use this one by default because it's always on in all the profiles by default the only thing you need to check so how you configure the volume pedal so let's configure volume pedal for both two uh, buttons uh, starting from the first one let's edit it editing mode confirming editing mode and uh, I have two expression pedals, so A is the first one, B is the second one. So I'm using this one usually for volume. So I just press and hold, and it starts lighting. And the expression pedals use a particular MIDI channel to send their, their values of the pedal, or the position of the panel. So this channel is different for volume and for uh, wow, wow, for example, and for pitch band as well. In Camper, it is configured this way. So let's let's edit what the pedal is sending. So I press once and press up to stop editing. It's sending on this on the channel seven. 
as you can see. The channel 7 uh, is used in Camper to control the volume. So if you want to have a volume pedal you need to configure one of your expression pedals to the channel 7. When you press up once again uh, you firstly set the minimum value uh, which is sent by the expression pedal. Uh, with volume in the heel position you want the pedal to shut the volume down. You also can control the, these values with the expression pedal so in this position you want the zeros home and this is the maximum value sent by the expression pedal so you can set it to maximum. I usually use the minimum and maximum value like 0 and 127 so it's maximum and minimum values. Then you're done, you press up once again, you confirm. And now you have your expression pedal. So when you exit now, just press and hold. When you exit now, you can see that now you have volume pedal enabled with first profile.